another work mess that would be coming to screen in the next few years is predator five i i didn't want to cover this this report like when i saw the report i was like huh okay a female native american warrior what could go wrong everything went wrong and everything literally went down the toilet the, the minute i read the, the 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 synopsis or whatever the the storyline would look like so according to avp galaxy the film will follow key a member of the Komachi tribe who goes against gender norms a big red flag already would look look literally you start out your storyline your your synopsis about a character called key a female character called key a member of a, a tribe a, an ancient tribe because it's definitely set in the past kamachi tribe who goes against gender norms already identity politics have just come in already already literally you've just ruined your story by going that route you okay let's continue who goes against gender norms and tradition to become a warrior produced by david entertainment predator 5 is slated to begin shooting in calgary alberta Crown, canada this is uh sorry the, the, it, 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 it will begin this may with then dan trench trenchenberg directing from a script by patrick eiston and the script of this so-called pa patrick this same guy wrote the big flop jack ryan go and check about the film jack ryan that film flop the other film kingdom and treadstone were really not anything noteworthy oh my god oh my god this is this is this is just gonna be another disaster this is gonna be another disaster and i i just don't like what is going on in hollywood predator 5 is going to be produced by disney because disney acquired this franchise when they purchased fox so i i just don't know what what to make of this because the identity field nonsense that is going on in any story produced by mainstream studio is disgusting and annoying but you know what i think we sh i think it's right for us to really go in depth to see what the full story is all about let's really go in depth to this plot and let's see whether anything can be redeemed from this like i said the key character a kamachi woman who goes against gender norms and tradition to become a warrior many years ago in a time before any europeans had ever encroached on their lands the kamachi people had a well-defined society and gender norms oh my god they keep on with this gender crap oh my god key is is very close to her younger brother toby who is being groomed as a leader as capable as any young man in the tribe key has always been a teacher and source of inspiration for her to be in the kamachi way she's pisces pisces she's pisces okay she's pisces the elder sister that has helped to shape him okay okay uh key is a truth teller and has insight and has insight that others do not already woke like literally you're not even talking about how you can build this character what the character is doing in the story you're just talking about how awesome the character is how she has all the insights how she has all the cool gender norms and oh my god 
how she has uh, insights that others do not a tomboy she wants to prove herself in the masculine world of Kamachi. Oh my God. When danger threatens them all, Ki sets out to prove that she's capable as a young warrior. And you tell me this is not woke. And you tell me that this trash is not woke. Oh my goodness. I really truly have nothing else to say. The story has really told itself and it is already outlined any sane person can already tell this is going to be an absolute disaster you've already made the main character too cringe worthy that even people reading the synopsis can easily see the red flag but you know what we live in hollywood we will accept whatever it is they put out and uh, wait for other trash to still be spawned from the the trash they have already released and that is it please subscribe to our channel do like our content follow our social media we're going to see you guys next time